So here we have the TTI 660, which I just optimized for a customer. Now, when you get one of these, you need to set it up for the country you're on because it's one of these multi radios. It'll come set up as EC, so it can be worked legally anyway. But with us being in the UK, we want it on UK setting. But to do this, we press air and FM and scan together and switch it on. So, you can now go up and down these, except I didn't do it quickly enough. We'll try again. And we now have UK on the screen, so I presume you can either turn it off or it will automatically go to that. So there we are, we're now on UK. Now, what it does have is some menus. I've got a copy of the, I've got a page of the instruction book in front of me. And what we do is pressing the lock button on the microphone whilst turning the radio on should put it into menu mode, which it has. BP bleep tone, on or off. Again, I've not done it quickly enough. Uh, timeout timer, 1 to 99 seconds. Scan receive, 1 to 99 seconds. Scan delay, 1 to 99 seconds. And backlight dimmer on or off. So I'll just let it to go back to normal. So that's quite a nifty little feature on a relatively basic set. Um, it's got uh, channel 9 and it's got. Um, 919 button, it's got scan which is useful. So we'll put his on scan, we'll set the squelch, and instead of me flicking through the channels, we'll let the radio flick through the channels. Now something caused it to halt on 29 just then. That's foreign interference. Looks like it's one of those days. It's three o'clock on in the afternoon at the moment on a Sunday. Well, we'll take it out of scan because of, because it's locking up on foreign interference. Go through it manually. There's someone on 18 a very long way off. Now, as I've said before, we're 35 miles here from the nearest city, um, which is Nottingham, and 31 miles from Lincoln, and 7 miles from the nearest town, which is Grantham. I bet they're 30 miles away. Well, once again, we'll try with the 1-9 for a Roger. 1-9 for a Roger. I'll flip around the channels again. The squelch on the threshold. Interesting voice for the UK and on UK channels.
So if you looked at the previous video on the setup of these, we've been optimising this for a customer, it's a new set, and um, it works very well on the test set. And I did mention that we take that precaution because I've seen some TTI sets with microphony owing to the ingress of, or the absorption of moisture into ceramic capacitors. So we do that little modification with the um, um, approved coating. And there you have it, thanks for watching.